I'd been releasing music for years before I decided to launch my own record label. And in this video, I'm going to explain why I did it and if you should do it too. Now, for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Alfonso Machacho, and I've been releasing music for over a decade. And at the beginning of this year, I decided to launch my own label. First things first, I did not launch my own label to make any money. My reasons were purely artistic. I got fed up with not having any control over my music. Let me explain my two main issues with releasing on other people's labels. Number one, release dates. Some labels would sit on my tracks for six months before releasing them. And even then they didn't give me any warning in advance. I would only find out one day by browsing Beatport or Spotify and there would be my track. Surprise. This really uh, was a problem and I might have other tracks signed or other remixes with other labels coming out at the same time. And promoting your music is hard enough without having to promote multiple releases at the same time and especially with no warning. The second reason uh, was re-releases and compilations. So once you sign your track to a label, you do not own it anymore. The label owns it and they can do whatever they want with it. It's perfectly legal for a label to release one of my tracks 10 years later. It's also perfectly legal for them to re-release my track every single month as part of a compilation. Uh, I don't know about you, but when I release a track, I don't really enjoy seeing it appear as a new release months and years later. Worse still is labels licensing your track to other labels who then go ahead and release your music as part of their compilation. And do you think you ever see any royalties from that? Not a chance. So now let's get down to whether you should launch your own label. The main reason most people want to have their own label is to have total control over their music and of course all the royalties. This I have to admit is a big plus. With most modern labels you will either get a fee for your tracks or you will get a percentage of the royalties. The percentage is usually a 50-50 split between you and the label. This is once a cut has been taken by the store or a streaming service and any publishers. As always uh, with these deals, the artist eat last. Here you can see the contract that I essentially signed with myself when I released my first EP on my own label. A big, healthy 100% of the royalties. Now, let's travel back to 2013 and look at the contract of my first Beatport release. The label gave me half. Now, I'm not complaining about sharing half with the label at all, not at all, but Obviously, I earn double by releasing on my own label, providing sales and streams are the same. The one obvious disadvantage with releasing your own or other people's music on your own label is you have to do all of the work. You'll need to sign the tracks, do the A&R, draw up the contracts, ensure the release has artwork and make sure it gets sent to all the correct places. So that's the online stores and all the streaming services. You will then need to do all the promotion for the release. That could include sending the music out on promo services to other DJs, and obviously this isn't free. Then you might consider doing SoundCloud promotion and paying big SoundCloud accounts to post your music. You can even pay for the tracks to be playlisted on Spotify. This can be quite a large financial outlay with no guarantee of a return on your money at all. If you're launching a brand new label, no one will have heard of it. It won't have a large social media following. And this is one of the crucial benefits of releasing on an established label. They have followers who will listen to every single track that they release. This means come release day, all of your fans will see it and all of their fans will too. When I released my first track on Above the Storm, it had zero followers on Beatport. It had maybe 100 on Facebook. That's not a lot. So the first release relied entirely on my own following. If I had released that EP with one of the larger labels that I'd previously been with, I could have easily doubled that social media following in one go. No problem. So let's break it down to some simple pros and cons. On the pro side, number one, 
you get to retain complete control of the music forever. It belongs only to you. Number two, you get all of the royalties once the stores have taken their cut. This can be huge, especially if you go on to get a track that gets streamed a lot for many, many years. It lasts forever, remember. Number three, you can sign whoever you like and get control of the quality of music that you put out. Number four, there is no one saying no. It's bye-bye to rejection because you can release anything you like. No one will tell you no. No one will ask you to change the music or no one will want creative control over the track listing. You decide it all. Number five, you can now proudly tell people that you own a record label. Think how good that's going to look on your LinkedIn profile, bro. Big time. On to the cons. It's expensive to promote your music. You foot all of the costs and you will have to organize all the promotion yourself. This can be a lot of work and no one is going to care about your label at first. This comes with some caveats, obviously, but you're probably going to have to build your following from scratch. That's unless you are already uh, an established artist. You're going to get a lot of bad demos. Your friends might see your label as an easy way to get their music onto Spotify. And listening to lots of demos, especially bad demos, and doing the quality control can be a very, very miserable job indeed. There is no one saying no. This is a pro but it can also be a con. There is no quality control, only you. Maybe some of your music got rejected for a reason. You need to be sure it's high quality. And the last one, graphic design. Graphic design is a pain. Everyone thinks it's easy to come up with artwork, but the reality is, unless you've got some sort of experience, it'll likely look very amateur and you might have to pay someone to do it for you. Again, more costs. So they're going to have to do the Facebook banners, the actual artwork, the logo for the release, more money, more money, more money. So do we have a conclusion? Should you start your own label? So my thoughts are this. If you're just starting out and you're unable to get your music signed, then I'm going to go with no. Labels serve as gatekeepers and they will let you know if your music is good and they'll let you know if it's not good enough to be signed. If your music isn't that good and you just launch a label just to release it, you're going to be very disappointed with the results. But if you're already an established artist with a following and you want to play the long game of building a label that may or may not become its own brand in the future, then why not go for it? You will likely not make any serious money, certainly at first, unless you are already a huge artist. And it's probably going to take a lot of time and money to build the label up. But the long term benefits are clear. You have complete artistic control and all of the royalties. Now, I have not made a cent from a label. All the royalties go to charity. As of today, it's the Donkey Sanctuary and the Snow Leopards getting all the money. But Providing I build up a large enough catalogue of releases over years, there's no reason why it can't generate a respectable income. It's like anything though, you've got to work at it.